Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to see an example of how to find the area of a triangle in three-dimensional space. And so what we have here is we have a triangle that is dangling somewhere in three-dimensional space with the three corners defined by those uh, constants. Now imagine this is not exactly in the YZ plane. It could be oriented in any given direction. And to help us out a little bit, Notice that I've defined two vectors, the vector from point 0.1 to point 0.2, this way, and the vector from point 0.1 to point 0.3. Now remember that from a previous video, we realized that the area of a triangle can be found by taking one half times the magnitude of the cross product of the, the base of the triangle times one of the sides. But then it turns out with a triangle, it doesn't really matter since we're looking for the magnitude only, we can take the cross product of any of the two sides. So what we're going to do here is we're going to define the vector A from P1 to P2. So this would be called the vector A. And so here, this is the vector A. And we're going to define the vector B from P1 to P3. And there's our vector B. And it turns out we can find the area just as well by saying that the area of this triangle is going to be equal to one half the magnitude of the cross product of two of the three sides of the triangle. Like that. And so that makes it easy. Pick any two sides, express the two sides in, the ter in terms of vectors, take the cross product, and then multiply times one half. Let's go ahead and try that. So the area is therefore going to be equal to one half times the cross product of a cross b and so we have one half we have i j k now we need the components of the first vector a the first vector a and of course i didn't do this one yet there's my b vector that would be minus three minus two and two and here are the components of the second vector b minus two two and three how do we find these components Notice that if we go in the x direction from point 0.1 to point 0.2, we go from a positive 2 to a negative 1, that's a negative 3 change. From a positive 2 to a 0, that's a negative 2 change. From a 0 to a positive 2, that's a positive 2 change. So that's how we found the vectors. Now let's go ahead and do the cross product. So this is equal to 1 half times i multiplied times negative 2 times a negative, uh, a negative 2 times a positive 3, that's a negative 6, minus a 2 times 2, which is 4. And that would be minus j, whoop, that should be a j here, times, we have a negative 3 times a positive 3, which is negative 9, minus a 2 times a negative 2, that gives us a plus 4, and then plus k, multiply times a negative 3 times 2, that's a negative 6, and minus a negative 2 times a negative 2, that's a positive 4, but we have to subtract, that gives us a negative 4. And then I need a bracket around it. All right, now let's simplify that. So this is equal to, oh, and remember, the area will be the magnitude of this. So of course I need to put absolute value signs around it like this, and put absolute value signs around like this, because I'm actually looking for the magnitude, not the actual cross product. So this is equal to 1 half, times negative 6 times negative 4, that's a negative 10 in the i direction. We have minus 9 plus 4, that's a minus 5, but with that negative there becomes a plus 5 in the j direction, and that would be a minus 10 in the k direction. Of course, again, I need the absolute value of that. So this is equal to 1 half times the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, which is 10 squared plus 5 squared plus 10 squared. Of course, since I'm squaring, I don't care about the negative signs. So this is equal to 1 half times the square root of 100, 225. And the square root of 225 is 15. So that's 1 half times 15, or 15 divided by 2. And there you go. That's how you find the area of a triangle in three-dimensional space, which makes it quite easy. You define to the signs as vectors using the coordinates of the points of the triangle and then from those vectors you take the cross product you get the absolute value sign of that the magnitude of that and you multiply times one half 
And that's how you find the area of a triangle in three-dimensional space using the cross product.